Here is how to add a dynamic delivery date estimate on Shopify and also make it only visible to visitors from a specific country. The first step is to upload the icon of our delivery message to our store. You can find the link to download the image that I'm going to use in the description. You can also use any other image. After you've downloaded the image from your admin panel, click on content, files, and let's upload our image. Make sure it's a small sized image so that we don't slow down the loading speed of our page. All right, after you've uploaded the image, keep this page open, we're going to need it later. Next, head over to the codes page, you'll find the link in the description. And let's copy all this. Then let's open ChatGPT to customize this code using the prompt. Then here on ChatGPT, let's paste everything here. And let's take a look at the things we need to customize. First, we have the estimate message. This is the message that will appear before the date. Then we have the show for country name. The delivery estimate will only be visible for visitors coming from the country you type here. But you need to type it in a specific way. To find the correct name of your country, head over to this page where you can search here. For example, let's search for United States. And here's the correct name. So let's copy it and let's paste it here. Then we have the minimum and maximum delivery days. So let's say the delivery is between 5 to 10 days. This estimate will skip the weekends. Then we have a fifth option to customize, which is the icon link. So let's go back to our admin panel and copy the link of our icon simply by clicking here. Then let's go back to ChatGPT and paste the link. All right, we finished customizing everything. So let's hit enter to generate the code. So now it finished generating the code. Let's click on this button to copy it and let's head back to our Shopify admin panel. So here, let's click on online store to open our themes list. I'm going to use the Dawn theme for this tutorial, but you can follow along using any theme. And let's click on Customize. Let's open our products page using this drop-down. So let's click on it and click on Products, Default Product. And here under the Product Information section, let's add a new block by clicking here. And let's select the Custom Liquid block. Then let's click on it to open its settings. Here you'll find the settings on the right, mine are on the left just because I'm zoomed in. So. Let's click here and paste our code. Then let's go back to the blocks list and let's drag our custom liquid block under the variant picker, for example. And our message is visible here. I'm recording this on the 21st of November. So after five weekdays, it will be the 28th. And after 10, it will be December 5th. So the estimate is working properly. One thing I would like to mention is that you can add separate estimates for each country you ship to and only the appropriate one will appear. Although these estimates will always appear in the Shopify editor regardless of your country. So to test if this feature works properly, we'll need to preview our theme. So let's save our changes and let's click on this button and click on view. So I opened the product page and I'm currently using a VPN to change my location. So for now it's set to the UK that's why I don't see the delivery estimate here. But if I change it to the US, for example, so let's select US here and refresh the page. And now the message appears with the correct estimate. So this is working properly. One last thing I would like to add is that you can use ChatGPT to adapt the logic of the code to your needs. For example, if you want to have a five to 10 day delay for the United States and 30 to 45, for all the other locations. It will give you a new version of the code that you can use to replace the previous one. All right, that's it for this video. If you have any other questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Also, if you need to hire a developer to create or customize a store, feel free to reach out using my contact page. See you on the next one.